Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here on a Thursday afternoon, early evening. It is the Earthmaster here, about uh, 6.54 p.m. here, California time. And got a report here of a large earthquake coming into the area of Chile just now. Uh, let's see if we can find it just coming in. I know California's been rocking and rolling a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Look at that. Just showing up here on the Chile station. That's a live seismograph station there. Uh, my earthquake app just went off say, uh, stating that there was a six pointer out here so let's see what's going on here in the world there it is on the emsc model just showing up right now a 6.8 earthquake pretty powerful earthquake uh, 128 kilometers deep into the peru chile trench now this is all subject to change i don't think this has been reviewed yet uh, this could go up could go down in terms of the magnitude but the uh, parameters here have not been reviewed by a seismologist but looking at this uh signal here on the live seismograph station obviously that's a pretty decent sized earthquake and now we're getting some felt reports coming in there of this uh large earthquake usgs not picking up on that yet uh, but i guarantee you they will here soon now let's check out the tsunami statement here i don't think there's going to be any but i do like to double check uh, just due to the size of this earthquake here. Not picking up on it yet. Let's see here. Let me double check. I'm really surprised it's not showing up yet here on the uh, Earthquake 3D Globe. Look at that. Even though it's on, the, on their uh, page, right? 6.8 officially. Uh, but not showing up here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. It's a little odd. And I do have the feed set here for uh, 2.5 and above for the EMSC model. So uh, we'll just wait a second here and see what's going on. Either way, pretty large earthquake. I know California has been having some earthquake activity as well. Uh, these guys just had a 3.4 earthquake around the Morgan Hill area. That is at the southern end here of the Greenville Fault Zone. Handful, a handful of earthquakes out here today, including Southern California as well. A lot of movement uh, looks like it's starting to take place out here across California. Now, if this is indeed a 6.8, we'll see the P wave signature here uh, kicking up soon enough uh, and then followed up by the surface waves on the live seismograph stations. But this station right here is in Chile. And um, like I say, it's not showing up yet. There we go. Ooh, they actually upgraded this to a 7.4. That's a pretty powerful earthquake there. Into the uh, San Pedro de Atacama, Chile area. 170 kilometers deep here. So uh, the good thing about this powerful earthquake here is that it's going to be uh, limited damage. Uh, pending that depth of the earthquake remains at 170. Had this been a more shallow earthquake, we'd be talking about maybe uh, much more damaging vent there at the surface levels but uh, 7.4 coming in from the usgs it has been reviewed here by a seismologist so that should show up here on the globe now which it is 7.4 that's a uh, that's a good size earthquake that's a dandy of an earthquake there of course this area has been seen uh let's see what we got here over the last seven days quite a bit of a uh, deeper activity here recently So uh, it's definitely a, a good size one. A lot of deeper activity up north here. A lot of fours. Look at the depth of these earthquakes here. It almost looks like it's unzipping downward here south along the Peru Chile trench area. Real quick check here of the uh, Tsunami Warning Center once again. 7.4 northern Chile. Uh, no Tsunami Warning Advisory Watch or Threat from this earthquake. Once again, a pretty powerful 7.4 earthquake coming into the Chile area right now. Stay on guard, folks. Got California rocking and rolling a little bit. Now this large 7.4, which will be shaking the earth here like a bell, ringing the earth like a bell here soon enough. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on for uh, complete updates. But for now, that 7.4 coming in fairly deep here into the Peru Chile Trench. At 170 kilometers deep for that 7.4 northern Chile area, damage should be limited here. Uh, either way, that's still you know a, a decent size earthquake, and uh, no doubt we can see things really start to uh, move around following an event like this. Stay safe, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening.